Hey there, I'm David Schloss, Editor-in-Chief of Digital Photo Pro, and today I'm going to give you a little bit of a studio hack. It's a way to make a high-powered video or still light for under 200 bucks. Usually when I walk around a hardware store, I'm always keeping my eye out for something that I can use in the studio to save me some time or some money. For a while now, I've been using LED-based workshop lights in order to give myself a little bit of extra light in the studio. Well, I found a really great light that solves a couple of problems I have with them. Now, LED workroom lights are great. They are just not always very powerful. Sometimes they're 2,000 or 3,000 lumens. That's not as much as a studio light. But what I found here is an 11,200 lumen light by Lithonia, and it's not very expensive. In fact, it was about $156 when I found it at the hardware store. I took this and I took a part that I'm going to show you and then I put them together in order to make something that I can use in the studio and the lighting is incredibly bright. So I'll show you the name of the Lithonia unit in the show notes below so you'll be able to find it. Again, about $156. The unit itself comes without a power cord on it so you're going to have to do a little bit of electrical wiring. It's not difficult three cables, three wire nuts, and a plug. You can buy a, a power cord to put on the end of it. I just sacrificed an extension cord and put it on. All you do is attach that and then the unit is good to go. I'm gonna show you the other thing that I did. I took the unit and I connected it to a lighting stand mount that's designed to mount television monitors on the wall. So it's called a visa mount and a visa mount is used to take anything like an LCD screen and mount it up on the wall and they make these adapters in order to put them on a lighting stand. I will also put the model number in the show notes for that as well. I did a quick modification to the Visa mount. The mount's a little bit bigger than the LED unit I had to work with. So I just took a metal drill bit, put a couple extra holes in there. I went a little bit nuts with the screws that I put on here just to make sure that the thing wouldn't fall off. You only really need a couple of screws. I used self-drilling uh, sheet metal screws to hold these on here. You'll notice I also have this little red line here. I took the unit apart just to make sure that where I was putting screws would have no wires or control board or anything. That red mark shows where the control board ends so I would know where not to put screws. Once I put the unit on, I can put it on the lighting stand. It's good to go. Just a couple things to note about this homemade lighting unit. It is incredibly bright. Uh, it is also a little bit on the warm side in terms of color balance. So make sure that if you're using it and you're mixing in daylight or other light that you're doing a custom white balance with it. The other thing to remember is that because it throws so much light in such a small space, the light can be a bit concentrated. So it's not something that you want your talent looking directly into. I would mount it high up uh, towards the ceiling. I would mount it low down to give some fill light, but I wouldn't put it right at somebody's eye level. Again, it's a really great solution for lighting an entire studio on a budget, well under $200 for all the parts. Just a little bit of electrical know-how. I'm going to put the part numbers in the show notes so you can build this yourself. We'd love to see what you do with the lighting solution. If you want some more information about Digital Photo Pro, visit our website at digitalphotopro.com or click the subscribe link up there to subscribe to our videos. Thanks so much for watching.